Today I'm going to show you how to check and replace fuses on a DC to DC. This is a DC to DC Gen 1 of a Model S. We have a blown fuse in here and I'm going to show you how to check for that using just a, a regular DVOM. I have it set on continuity and I turned on the alert trigger so you can hear it. This should go from negative to negative each one of these, positive to positive each one of these. The only one that you're going to have a weird issue with is the coolant heater. The negative terminal does not connect because it's pulse width modulated inside here. So you're not going to get a direct connection through that. So you go from negative to negative. Negative to negative. See how we have nothing? But that's okay. Negative to negative. Okay. Positive, positive. Good. Positive, positive. Good. Positive to positive. Nothing. No continuity. So this is our blown fuse. But if you're going to go through the trouble of taking this all apart to replace the fuse for just one, I recommend doing both while you're in there. These are the tools you would need to get this open. Just a few sharp putty knives a uh, hammer, some glass cleaner, screwdriver, uh, either a Phillips bit, and a small pocket screwdriver to get the fuse out, and something to seal it back up with. You've seen me use this before, it's used all over the car. First we're going to flip it over, remove the screws. Okay, this has the sealant all the way around this bevel right here on the inside. Problem is you can't go all the way through. If you do, there are wires on the inside edges of these connectors right here for the h -ville. If you go in too far, you will cut the wires for these. This also has a connector, but it's a little further back, but it is also very close to the edge. So you have to be careful of that. Easiest thing to do is to start on an edge that you don't have to be careful with. So this is the one side. I'd go on this side first to start off with over on this edge. You don't have to go crazy, just enough to get in there. Cut the adhesive. Now start cutting through, but you're going to need something to wedge this open with as well as you go. Otherwise the knife's going to bind up. The glass cleaner is for a little lubricant. Okay, here we are at the easy note, so I stopped. Be very gentle.
Okay. This is aluminum. You be careful, it's very, very thin. Peel it back gently. Make sure you got it all the way around. It's easy to miss a little bit. See, I didn't cut 100% through all the way. And there's your lid. These are the wires I was talking about. Right there, right next to the knife edge. Very easy to damage. You have three sets of fuses in here. You have one set right here. That's for the coolant heater. And you have these two in here. One's for the, these are the um, PTC and the AC compressor. Go back to our meter and just double check so you know which one's which. That one's good. And that one's the one that's blown. This is your AC compressor. This one's your PTC. Like I said, I'm gonna replace them both while we're in here. It's a little bit of a challenge to get in here because it's so tight. I kind of slide that out a little bit. There you go. There's one. This one's a lot harder because it's right underneath the connector. See, this slides out that way. There you go. There's the other. Fuses. I'm going to start with the one in the back. Make sure that the fuse is in the contacts all the way, even from side to side. Here's our other. There you go. Two fuses replaced. Next, I'm going to use a razor blade. I'm going to clean up this material. It does not have to be 100% perfect, it just has to have the bulk of the gasket room material moved. There is a lip in here, so it's not an easy way to scrape. Okay, that should be more than enough. Next, we're going to take our sealant. Get this on the camera so you can see how I do this.
You want a nice continuous bead all the way around. And you want it to come up above the aluminum, the, the flat spot of the aluminum. Next, line this up. Reinstall your screws. That's all set, just double check. Positive, positive, positive. You're good. You can do negative two, but we know that there's nothing wrong with the negative on these. So, all set to go back in the vehicle.